Hello YouTube, Assassinator17 here, um, got my new video on my own OS operating system. It's taken a long time to do what I considered to be simple, you know, outputting graphics to the um, monitor and stuff. It turns out this is extremely complicated and it's been a really laborious task. But um, when I was making this, I was using the MU8086 compiler assembler, whatever you want to call it and they had some great example code and I sort of took some example code out of there patched it within some of my code and made my own thing which is sort of still their thing the similarities are pretty obvious but um, I'm, I've hoped I've changed it enough not to just have it exactly like theirs but um, problem at the moment is that it's only on floppy drives floppy disks and because um, I don't know how to do it any other way at the moment but I'm still looking into it and if anyone can provide any suggestions then it's welcomed. Um, I see a lot of videos on people making their own OS but it's always using Cosmos or using like a load of other like virtual PC stuff but none of them have actually got it on you know hard copy, hard format that you know is actually bootable or something. Well there there's probably is but they just haven't put it on some kind of um, medium or whatever. Well anyway what I've got at the moment is I've got the example floppy disk that they that they have the MU8086 MU8086 have and I've got my one okay and then monitor here PC over there so let, I'm gonna show you the example first I want them yeah, it's going to look a little weird on the monitor here, but I'm going to try and like get as close up to it as I can and whatever. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, you're seeing a little blinking here. I don't know what that is. Um, there's a prompt down here, which is just um, an arrow, and then you've got your title up here that just says, Welcome to the Micro OS. So maybe I can just zoom in on that. Okay then, so this is their example, and um, yeah, their command list is very short, as is mine, only supports some very few commands, but um, if I type help, we'll get the full list. Um, yeah, this is the full list, and um, it has some very basic commands, and for some reason, they have three commands that do the same thing. But what we've got here is we've got um, thank you for choosing the micro OS short list of support commands CLS clear the screen help print out this list reboot reboot machine quit same as reboot exit same as quit so they have three commands that all do the same thing which is a bit weird but let me just see if I can zoom in on that as well Okay, so that was that, and um, yeah, let me just try uh, let me just try CLS, clearing the screen. Okay, yeah, so you can see that the screen clean, cleared, and even the little message that we had up the top here is gone. Um, yeah, let's try the reboot command. So then we get this new message, please eject, please eject any floppy disks and press any key to reboot. Let me just zoom in on that. Okay, so that was that one. Right, I'm going to put mine in and then um, reboot so that yeah, mine loads. Two seconds. There we are. And so rebooting. So here, as I said, mine is pretty similar, and it will look pretty copied at the moment. What I'm trying to do is just um, 
what I'm going to be doing soon is like adding some new commands to it and um, hopefully getting a better interface than just this command line thing that we're seeing here. But okay, this is what we've got so far. We've still got the same prompt, the arrow, and um, but my my title message is different. I changed that bit. It just says um, "Welcome to AOS Alex Operating System." I don't have a name yet. Let me just zoom in. Okay, and yeah, notice I've changed the color, and um, yeah, the color's changed. And if we just bring up the help menu, the help menu smaller because I got rid of those three commands that are all the same. So now it's just help CLS and reboot. So this is pretty useless. It'll, all you can really do with it is display a help list telling you that what you can do, which is crap anyway, and clear the screen, or you can reboot. And well this is it so far. Um, let me just zoom in on that there. Okay, so this is it so far, but yeah, like I said, soon I'm going to be adding some more commands to it. Um, I don't know much assembly, but I guess I'm learning. There are ways to put in, that I've seen people put in C code into theirs, and I, I don't really get that yet. This is all pretty new to me, but um, I'm learning about it, I'm learning about it. Um, I'm going to be posting a new video um, once I've made some progress, so um, yeah, keep in tune. See you later.